coffee grinder. That orders fresh beans for you. Oh, genius. For more breakthroughs like that, I need a breakthrough card. Like ours. With 2.5% cash back on purchases of $5,000 or more. Plus unlimited 2% cash back on all other purchases. And with greater spending potential, Sam can keep making smart ideas. A brilliant reality. The new Inc. Business Premier Card from Chase for Business. Make more of what's yours. Hey everybody, it's tamale season, and we're reviewing Del Taco's famous tamale. And they call it tamale season because of the perfectly seasoned pork. Del Taco's tamale start at two for five dollars, and you get double rewards points too. Say hello to Del Taco Better Max. We get it, and we got you. Del Taco's 20 under 2 menu includes 20 fresh made guacchi, cheesy, spicy, and crunchy items for under two dollars each, only at Del Taco. Being home for the holidays, sometimes can be tough. Not having a home for the holidays is tougher. That's why I'm supporting the Midnight Mission, where individuals and families find food, shelter, and a path out of homelessness. Join me and give at midnightmission.org today. There's never been a better time to get away. With a great deal on the Hyundai you've always wanted. With America's best warranty and up to three years complimentary maintenance. It's your journey. Own every mile at the Hyundai Getaway Sales Event. Hurry in to get our best deals of the season. Get in and get away. Get 0% APR on the Santa Fe, plus zero payments for 90 days. Only at your SoCal Hyundai dealer. Proud sponsor of the LA Chargers. Good morning, I'm Frank Buckley. A search warrant served in connection with the LA City Council racism scandal, the latest on the investigation into who leaked the controversial conversation. I'm Eric Spillman in Riverside. In about an hour's time, we're going to hear from the relatives of three people who authorities say were murdered by a child predator who also happened to be a cop from Virginia. We'll have the latest coming up. Good morning. I'm Lena Bovian. Live in Encino, this is where a woman was sexually assaulted in broad daylight while out hiking at a popular trail. What we know about what happened. That's next. Good morning, I'm Jessica Holmes. Prince Harry and Kate Middleton arriving in the U.S. today for their first visit since becoming the Prince and Princess of Wales. Details about the royal trip just ahead. Good morning, I'm Sam Rubin. New here at 8 o'clock, dark day at CNN. Significant layoffs taking place. We'll tell you all about that. Plus, Jolie Fisher, her sister Trisha as well. Big invitation for you. And speaking of big, what's bigger than the Rose Parade? Mark and Lisa on the way here live. Feels kind of like Rose Parade weather. Cloudy, a little on the chilly side, and that's the way it's going to remain for the better part of today. Coastal area, six, actually, Rose Parade's usually sunny and chilly. 60 coastal, downtown Los Angeles, 64, 62 in the San Fernando Valley, 58 in the high desert, Inland Empire, 62 in Orange County, Inland, 63 degrees. Ginger with traffic. Man, always exciting times when we talk about the Rose Parade. Such a glorious time for sure. Good morning to you guys. Good morning, everybody. A few things that we need to break down for your drive. A little bit of housekeeping as well. But first, is 405 free if your plans take you on that northbound side? We know south is usually the busy stretch, right? But right here on the northbound side, let's see, that's not the 405 freeway. That is the 170. So that would be the 170. see whether or not it is actually the 405 freeway because we know that 101 it's not Ventura freeway it is the 405 so the map is incorrect but it looks right 405 north right at about Ventura Boulevard it's right for Ventura Boulevard 405 north at Ventura Boulevard so we have to angle the uh, map well farther to the west and that's where we have reports that there is a wreck that's still sitting in lane so far the Ventura portion looks okay the same for that 170 but again it is a wrong map but right for Ventura Boulevard. I hope that makes sense. As we look at this, we just want to remind everybody that we do have a project that will take place. Southbound side lanes will start to go down for the count to Calgrove tomorrow night into Friday morning. More details on that later on. I'll send it back to you. In about an hour, Riverside Police will give an update on the murders of three people in connection with a case of catfishing. A sheriff's deputy traveled from Virginia to Southern California after he met a teenage girl online. KTLA's Eric Spillman, live in Riverside with more for us. Eric, good morning. Good morning, Frank. We're going to hear in about an hour's time at this news conference from the Riverside Police Chief, from family members and from investigators with the county's uh, child exploitation task force. There are so many questions about what happened. How is it possible 
with this law enforcement officer from Virginia.